back to the channel, your go-to destination to tech tutorials and guides. Today we're diving into the world of cybersecurity and exploring how to install Mosint. For everyone who doesn't know, Mosint is a powerful OSINT tool, open source intelligence tool uh, that we're going to install today on Docker. Last year I have uh, demonstrated how to install the tool uh, using Go language or Golang. So if you're ready, uh, let's get into it. But before we begin, let's um, quickly go over Docker and what is Docker uh, in general. So um, Docker builds now lightning fast. So basically, what do you need to know about Docker is that um, instead of the, you know, your application, software or any um, tool that is containerized, basically it's in, in a form of a container uh, application so it's allowing the resources of the host to um, run the application so you don't have the issue of uh, it works on my machine anymore um, this makes it perfect actually for deploying and managing various tools and application including the one we're going to talk about most things so let's jump into the installation process it's uh, pretty much straightforward this is the tool has been updated regularly uh, seven months ago as you can see and they are in version 3 as of now as of the recording of this video so uh, if you scroll down all at the bottom um, you will see the installation here using go lang okay you can download the latest with the tag latest but that's not what we're going to do in this video we're going to use docker we're going to build an image, uh, docker image, and we're going to use the commands right here, docker build dash t, more synth, and dot in the same folder. And we're going to run the docker container using the image below. Okay, so first things first, you need to have um, docker installed. So if you type in docker on your terminal, it should... Hang on, let me make this bigger so you guys can see. It should um, show you uh, that Docker is installed. And also I have Docker Compose installed. Okay, if it's easy to install Docker, just sudo apt, sudo apt install Docker and Docker Compose. If you are on Debian installation, okay? Oh, sorry, the Debian version. Um, so if you haven't already installed Docker, don't worry, it's a straightforward process like I mentioned. You can find uh, the detailed description in the Docker documentation below that will show you how to install it and so on. And there's also a lot of videos talking about it. Um, once Docker is up and running, um, we need to go over to the repository click on clone okay for me for all my software I will use the OPT folder and we get get clone paste in the link okay I forgot to put sudo sorry and it's going to clone it quickly okay right after that uh, let's go to uh, the directory navigate to more synced list and you can see that we have the docker file on the left and the example config yaml license readme and the static and version 3 okay so um, if we want to have a look at the docker file, we can go and cut the docker file and you can see it builds from Golang version 1.21. Okay, it creates a work directory uh, slash app and copies that directory itself into a working into the work directory slash v3, which is version 3, and it runs go mod download okay and after that it runs go build so there are two commands go uh, mod and go build okay from there there you should have your docker image ready to go so 
without wasting time let's build the docker image okay we can do that by typing docker build dash t more synth and we want it into the same folder we replace a dot and hit enter type wrongly build okay as you can see um, it's running in the process right now it's gonna download um, one by one and uh, I have to pause the video and come back to you once everything is built so see you in a bit okay that didn't take much time as you can see there are only 10 steps okay and it says here that successfully built the image this is the image ID and the tag which is most seen latest okay so how do we run docker image or for the for the most seen image right here so very straightforward we have to write docker run dash dash sorry this single dash it dash dash rm we're gonna remove the most seen image so let me explain the command. Okay, this command runs the Mosin Docker in interactive mode, allowing us to interact with the tool directly. Okay, and the dash dash rm flag ensures that the container is removed after it exists, keeping our system clean. Okay, so if we hit enter, as you can see, Mosin tool is running. This is the latest version, version 2. And as of today's recording, as you can see, an automated email OSINT tool written in Go that focuses on simplicity and performance. There are various flags, dash C, which is comp So let me um, demonstrate how you run the Mosin tool, the latest version using Docker. Okay. So we're going to type in docker run dash IT dash dash remove most things and the email address you want to look for um, using open source intelligence let's say for example test at, at gmail.com okay so what's going to happen here is going to most thing is going to go through crawl through the apis that you have if you put in the key of course the search will be more valid you see this keys right here so Mosin is going to go through the public ones, okay, and search through also a social media. But if you have an EPI key, your search will be more um, relevant, okay. But here we are just doing uh, testing just um, for educational purpose only. So um, as you can see here in the repo, it shows that uh, key, API key is required, okay. So let's hit enter. And uh, as you can see, it's going to run for everything, Instagram, Google, and so on. And it's gonna give you all the information needed, you know, the location, where is it at, and so on and so forth, okay? So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's all I have for you. And uh, we have, as you can see, we have successfully installed Mosin on Docker and then we're ready to start gathering all the open source intelligence uh, using this powerful tool. This tool is really, really powerful and it's updated regularly. So um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all that jazz. And thanks for watching.